Okay, so we start with uh, descending octaves. We're just going to do that E and E, D and D, C and C. And then we play a B7 chord, which I want you to sort of strum. And then we're going to do a little, little thirds in fifth position, second position, and then sixths. So we're going to go. And then we go back. So this is basically all in B7. Back to the B note. This is our B7 with the flat nine. Okay, so this is all in B7. So when you play the B7, I'd go like that and then drop this, the first finger down. So you're kind of doing a pivot on the first finger. You could also play it like this. But I like to just put the B7 down. And the bass on one and three. And then we go to an E minor, and I usually just strum that as an E minor, and then thirds from seventh fret, and then back to third fret. This is all in E minor with a pull off onto the second string. Or it's kind of nice to do it there because you can you can vibrato. Still in E minor, first position. Okay, that's the main melody. And we go back and do the same thing. Thirds, pull off, pivot, thirds, thirds, vibrato. All right, now we're going to move all the way up to 12th fret, 12th position, play our A minor here. And then we've got this melody. So we're going to go 12, 11, 12, bass. Some people might find that a little bit challenging. And I, I may publish a slightly different version if you're struggling with that high position because you can also do it. So I might put that in um, the member section, an alternative version, which is a little bit easier. But I like the, the, the sort of the intensity of up here. Like that, and then we're gonna go just open. seventh fret like that so this is our E minor so we're going from A minor to E minor back to B7 C7 B7 now we've got these tenths 10 9 and 8 7 7 open 4 and 4 and then this little bass run which is very sort of tango-ish Okay, now we're up to the verse. Okay, so we've got this kind of E minor melody. I'll just fill it in with some bass notes. And an E minor chord. And then octaves, which is like, we're just gonna change it to there because we wanna get to the B7. And then I'm going to slide like that. I slide the just the bottom one to give me a chance to get to the B7. Then I'm going to do the B7 here. This is sixth, but to keep the open string open, the second string in there. And then we go. Now this is a B7 with a. Uh, a flat nine, and then we're going to go. Um, so we're going to. And this is all sort of following in the B seven. So I've just voiced it. So we go down. Bar chord, and then E to a B. Start again. There's a little trill there. Now it's E7, and then we go, we go to a diminished chord, which I sort of bring out a bit, and then we do an A minor chord. Back to 12th position, so we're going to an E minor, 12th fret, and then this is 
is a descending arpeggio in B7. And, and we start again uh, with the intro section. The only difference with the second time round is that I do... At the end I go... Just finish on the E minor here. So that's the basic arrangement. LGM members get access to a play long track which you can use to kind of learn the piece a little bit better. And you could also print off the scores, uh, slow things down, loop things. It's a really good way to, to, to sort of get stuck into the detail of the piece. The sheet music is also available for sale. So if you just want to dip in and just buy that, you can also um, look for that in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoy my tutorial videos, you can uh, do a super thanks or uh, just a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.